Hey there guys, Rings here, Casual from Gaming here once again, bringing you more of Mega Tipper Month, where all September month long, we will be doing classic Mega Man Let's Plays, and speaking of classic Mega Man, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2. Now last time we played, we had just defeated Crash Man and got through his stage, as well as got his weapon, the Crash Bomber. Probably said that name wrong. Anyway, now we only have two robot masters left, and our next one we shall be going after, after is Bubble Man. Which his stage brings in the other physic, which I hate in a lot of the Mega Man games, which is water. Ugh. Get my control on my desk there. <laughs> so basically, all the enemies in this in this stage really is the only the only weapon worth using against them is Metal Blade. So I just use I'm just gonna use my regular Buster because I need freaking my Metal Blade for Bubble Man. When we get to him, hello. Now, what you want to do with these platforms here, they will fall as soon as you jump on them, like so. So you want to quickly get off of them <laughs> as fast as you can. With that, if you pass, you can probably use number two right there, but I wouldn't advise it's not that long. So when you fall down here, do be careful because of these things right here. You can avoid them, which that's what we're going to do. If you want to, you hit them. If you hit them, the shell will fly off and they'll run faster. And you just got to hit them a few more times with a buster or metal blades and such. So yeah. Once we get through here, we get to the next part. We have our less, our infamous death spikes. Yes. And hello, these little the uh, uh, shrimp things. I don't know. Ow. Come on. Yes, I'm using the tuber shooting, but I don't care because. To destroy those big fish things, they do take quite a hit to get rid of. Come on. There we go. And now we run along here. We get these weird little UFO looking things. Holy crap. Also, since water physics is physics, you want to be careful on how high you jump. So, yeah. Just go right on through here. You don't. You can avoid the very last of them. Now, right here, you want to be careful when you jump. You want to make sure you go just far enough where you can go right down the middle. Ugh. Oh my god. There we go. Got those ninjas out of the way. Ow. And that's basically it of that. Into that, and we're almost there. Uh, once we come down here, we get more of these frogs. Kind of, if you can keep one of the little toads with you, so that way the uh, these two here, the other this one here, will not shoot out more ow, more of those little ones. And then just come right over here, and we're out of the underwater area for that. Oh, I'm kind of lagging. Kind of wait. Now we have these uh, crabs, which yeah, when they land on the on the platforms, they will just run across it. Ones you gotta really be careful for are the ones that are in between the jumps. So yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so any one of them that gets in your way, just shoot them out of the way and go on through. And with it, we're at Bubble Man. So his weakness, as I said, is the metal blades. Eh, seems like a lot of the robot masters are weak against that. Now I could use atomic the. Not to fire, uh, the crash bombs against him, but the metal blades seem to do a lot more damage to him. So yeah. Now one thing you have to be careful is for the bubbles, because the spikes up there. If you jump too high, the bubbles get you. I think they will rage up there. Yeah, he can be quite a pain, but basically he's pretty weak to the. Metal blades. Like I said, the main da main danger you have to uh, avoid is his bubbles and jumping into the death spikes. Uh, but with that, we get our seventh robot master weapon, which shall be there. We go. B. Get equipped with bubble lead. Now, bubble lead. I'm not too sure about. Um, I don't know how many ammo it is, but uh, we definitely will use it later on in the stages because, of course, I want to show them all off. 
But with that, we only have one more robot master to go after, and that will be Heatman. So next time, he will be the one we go after before Dr. Wily. So until then, I'm Shrink Zero. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I hope you continue to watch. So until then, I shall see you guys next time.